I think the biggest aha moment comes from the fact that it doesn't matter where you apply finance. The, the aha moment is finance doesn't change. It's the application that changes. And people are blown away by that. So the fundamentals of finance apply to any kind of problem, whether you're doing a business decision, you're taking a mortgage, you're taking a loan, you're starting a new firm. That's the biggest aha of this class. In most important principle is just how do you value stuff is value creation is doesn't depend on a firm doesn't depend on a person doesn't depend on the government it is almost a thing on its own so to use financial language there are two components of value creation one is your cash flows there and the other one is how do you take time value and discounting into account now those are the only two okay. things we know in finance we pretend we know a lot more but just recognizing how those two things repeatedly come up in every problem you face in life. And if you understand those two, you kind of... I see. So the toughest aha moment is also the aha moment that's toughest in the real class, in the life class. And that is compounding. Uh -huh. uh, the notion of how compounding, compounded growth or compounded discounting is so powerful the human mind can't capture it because it's non-linear, it's not straightforward, it's not additive. I see. That is the most difficult thing that people find to internalizing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the notion is, you said now, which is the aha moment? I'll call this the aha moment that happens repeatedly, even to me, is that you understand okay. <laughs> intellectually, you do problems, you see it happening, and still, if somebody asks you a simple question like, how much do you think 100 bucks at 10 in 10 percent interest rate would be 100 years from now? People don't have a clue of how large it could be if the interest rate is 10 percent versus, say, 1 percent these days, right? So, if the, so the impact of a low interest rate versus a high interest rate is so profound that even informed people don't understand it, even after practicing it. So that to me is the major financial issue. I think.